One of the most important questions we can ask when building our own rig is which effects come first and which come last. My preference is to have the overdrive come after a compressor. This allows the volumes to be distorted evenly. Here I'm going to throw on a chorus and an auto pan. This will spread out the sound and leave room for the lead guitar in the center of the mix. Here I'm rolling off the low end and a little bit of the high end. Once again, leaving room for other areas of the mix. I debated on the kind of reverb I would be wanting for this track. Eventually I decided on a lengthier reverb. I think I'll stop there. I can make changes as needed later. Here I'm going to lay down a simple track. That should be enough. All I'm going to do here is shrink the area in which the distortion is applying. Focusing on the mid-range. Just going to duplicate that track. Name it Lead. Now let's do a little soloing. A good soloing track. Now time to make a bass. You really don't need much for bass. Whether you're dealing with a bass guitar or some kind of synth, I find it's best to keep it very simple. This simply carries your mix. Let's look into drums. Ableton has a number of built-in drums. Here I'm gonna use the instrument Impulse. This preset fits in perfectly. Quantize those and then consolidate. Pretty simple. If nothing else, this is a good challenge. <laughs> 